Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you how I pack and get ready for a trip, whether that be an airplane trip, a road trip, or anything of that nature. Any kind of travel, this is what I do. We are going to San Diego, so I wanted to share with you guys how I get ready and get prepared and stay organized and try my best not to forget anything. <laughs> so if you guys wanna see how I get ready to go on a trip, then please keep watching. Right, guys I wanted to show you a few things that I'm taking with us for my daughter um, first I'm gonna be taking these crayons I love these crayons they're like the roll-up kind so they're always sharp I mean it's not super sharp but they never get flat and dull she loves those then we're bringing some of these markers they're dual ended I got these from Amazon she loves to color with these and then here's some of the stuff I showed in my Easter haul. Some of the stuff I went ahead and gave her. Like I said, I wasn't gonna put everything in the basket, but we've got these um, No Mess Coloring Blast. We've got another one from LOL. Paw Patrol, she's already got into that one. Her hair crayons, I'm gonna do that in San Diego. I thought that would be fun. The paint with water, some of those sticker sheets that I went ahead and gave her, and then a ton of coloring books. Now I will put some of this in the car with her so she has some things to do, so she's not completely bored while we're driving. San Diego is like about six hours from here, so it's not too bad. She'll also have her iPad, and then we've got a charger. All my cameras and chargers and stuff are over there. So she'll be able to charge her iPad while we're driving. Next, I told her she could take one stuffy. She decided to take her Build-A-Bear. This is so cute, she loves it. It actually meows. <laughs> really cute. So we're gonna take that. We've got a blanket for the road trip. She's packed one of her favorite little purses, some sunglasses, headbands, those hair clips that I showed in my Easter haul. I gave her those too. Some more hair ties, her little purse, some sunglasses that she got. Really cute from Walmart, like six bucks, can't beat that. Got these goggles for her for the pool in case it's warm enough to swim. It's better to be prepared than not. I got those from Burlington, I think they were like four bucks. Yeah, four dollars. And then these sunglasses I got from Amazon, they were $13, but they are polarized. So it will protect her eyes from the sun. I thought they were really, really cute. They almost look like Ray-Ban Wayfarers, so gotta love those. I will link those down below. Next, I wanted to share with you guys some really cute stuff from Walmart. I absolutely went crazy for shoes. Usually I don't buy her this many because she doesn't wear them all, but I just couldn't resist. First, I got these from Walmart. I believe these were $10. They were either 10 or 12, I'm not exactly sure. If I can find them, I will link them for you. Then I found these little sneaker slide-ons, so adorable. These were 13, I know that. And then we got these beauties. I thought this would be pretty to dress up any one of her little outfits for dinner or something. And those were also 12. And then these were so cute, oh my gosh, I love these. They're like little ruffles in the rainbow. These were 10 bucks as well, all from Walmart. They had so many cute choices, so you should definitely check it out for your daughter or even for your son. They had cute boy stuff too. Next, oh my gosh, I had to get two of these. These were so cute, oh my gosh. It's like a little chambray jumper, it's so stinking cute. These are from the Wonder Nation line and it was $16.96. Now, I got two of these, because like I said, I just couldn't resist. So cute. Love it so much. I got the red one with the white shirt. It does come with the white shirt attached. This one's more of like a linen material. This one was also $16.96. 
And then I thought this was so stinking cute. It's like a two-piece set. It's almost like a chambray and, and linen. It's like a chambray and linen had a baby. This is the material. It's a little t-shirt with a tassel and the tie. And here's the matching like gaucho pants. Really cute wide leg, kind of smocked at the top. And then I went ahead and washed these. I got these on two separate trips, but these are little chambray shorts with the little tie. It's a faux tie, it doesn't really tie, it's just to look cute. But anyway, those are really cute. And then I got her these chambray joggers. These were really cute too, very lightweight. And then my daughter picked out this dress, of course, has a rainbow and it's glittery and purple. And then I got this precious little pink eyelet top. I figured I would pair it with these overalls. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute are these? Look at the detail on this. So adorable. This one was from the Jordache line and it was $14.94. I did buy some of this online because it was sold out in stores, but so cute. But I thought we would pair it with that. Adorable. Next, I got her this jean jacket, also from the Wonder Nation line. All of her stuff is in a 6 6X. For reference, my daughter is five years old, but she's like 45 pounds and like three and a half feet tall. So this one was... So this one was $18.98, so 19 bucks for a little jean jacket. I thought it was cute. And last but not least, this precious little cardigan. I thought it was really cute with the detail here. This one was $10.88. So if you guys need some spring clothes for your daughter or for your son, Walmart has some great, great options and really good quality. I'm super impressed with their stuff. So don't forget to check it out. I will link what I can uh, down below for you guys. And let's keep going. I've got so much to do. All right, I did wanna share with you guys what I'm gonna be taking in terms of safety precautions and masks and stuff. So I've got these masks from Ross. They are so cute. These are the little puppy dog print. There's dinosaurs, there's like a germ one, which my daughter already used. They also have more girly prints. They had like unicorns and leopard print, but my daughter already went through those. But these were on clearance at Ross for $4.99, so I scooped up a ton of these. So that will be hers. We've got some of these face masks from Costco for me and my husband. Some gloves, you never know if you're gonna need those. A lint roller because we have cats and the hair sticks to everything. Then I've got these little garbage bags. Um, I use these for my daughter when she was a baby for her diapers, but it's perfect for like banana peels and stuff in the car so it doesn't stink up the car. Now we've got a ton of antibacterial wipes. Clorox, off brands, everything, you name it, we've got it. Um, a bunch of hand sanitizer, some disinfecting spray. Next, I'm gonna be bringing some paper towels for the hotel room and then also for our packed lunches. The hotel room never gives you enough or none at all, so I like to be prepared. Same goes for the garbage bags and the dishwasher packs and the sponge. I need to get some Dawn soap, so I'll get some Dawn soap at the store tomorrow and then I've got some hand wash and then of course some Ziploc bags. And then I'm also gonna be taking some flushable wipes for my daughter since she's still learning you know, how to wipe and all that good stuff. And then last but not least, we will be taking some disposable silverware. It's always good to have. You never know if you're gonna need it, so I always bring those. And this here comes with us everywhere we go, anytime we go out. Um, it's got hand sanitizer, masks, everything you need um, to be protected from, you know, the germs. Um, we take this with us everywhere we go. So I'm gonna take that too. And then over here, I've got all of my filming supplies and my cameras and my ring light and all that kind of good stuff. My laptop, my hard drive, my bag, my chargers, like everything I put here. We're gonna be taking our GoPro, all of the tripods, um, my microphone, my other tripod that's over there. So I will be filming a little bit of my trip for you guys to see so you guys can see what we do. Should be really fun. But in here, I just have our other spare camera. We've got a Sony in here. We've got GoPro. We've got the camera I'm using, which I use Canon camera. So basically, I'm just starting to pile up everything that we need. We're not leaving for two days, so I'm still getting things ready. But this is what we've got so far. I still need to do all the clothes. As you guys saw earlier, I am starting to get the toiletries together, spare toothbrush, toothpicks, sunscreen, toothpaste. Um, I showed you guys earlier what I do here. I like to bring every kind of medicine that we might possibly need. I've got allergy medicine for my daughter, 
Tylenol ibuprofen. Tylenol ibuprofen for us, and I wrote on the bag what it was, how many milligrams, and what to take. I do suffer from migraines, unfortunately, so I need to take my Zomig with me. Got some very, very important Dramamine. I do get motion sickness in the car, so I'll be taking that. And then some eye drops. And I also love to take a little first aid kit. It's got band-aids, bandages, neosporin, all that kind of stuff. You never know if you need it, so rather have it. So yeah, that's what we've got so far. So I'm just gonna keep on going. <laughs> I found this really cute swimsuit at Costco the other day. It's a rash guard, which I love. Protects my daughter's skin from the sun. And then it comes with this cute little skirt. So there's a little you know, piece under there with a skirt over it. And it also came with a matching hat. Thought it was really adorable. So here I am just getting her clothes organized. I am gonna take all of this downstairs and pack it up down there just so I don't have to lug around a big heavy suitcase. Just makes more sense to me this way. All right, now I'm just gonna put all of the clothes together, stuff from upstairs and then some of her new stuff. I am gonna be taking a really big oversized like soft duffel bag. I feel like it fits so much more clothes. I am gonna be splitting it with my daughter so my daughter and I will share because we both have a lot of shoes. My husband can take his own bag because you know we can never share a bag, him and I. So here's all her stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start packing it in that duffel bag. This one is basically like a shell. There is no framing to it. There is a rod in the inside um, at the bottom there, just you know, for the handle. But other than that, it's really great. You can fit so much stuff in here. And if we end up buying some stuff in San Diego, I always have plenty of room to take stuff back. We are driving, so if we do buy stuff, there is always room, but I always like to have a bigger suitcase just in case. So now I'm just getting all of her toys um, together. I asked her to pick a few things that she wanted to take, and of course she picked a million things, <laughs> and all the small things like the Polly Pockets and the Hatchimals and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to get organized. Um, I will let her take some of this into the car, but I don't want her to lose the little pieces and ask for me to get it later. So I am packing this bin here from her room with her coloring books, and I will put this right next to her car seat so she can easily grab it, along with her blanket and her stuffy. guys I did want to show you how I write everything out and try to get organized I know some people do it on their phone but for me it's just easier to do it the old-fashioned way don't mind my chicken scratch I can read it it's legible for me um, but I just want to show you it, it really makes you more organized and prevents you from forgetting something if you write everything down um, I put things on front and back I did make a list of foods that we're gonna take um, as far as for like packed lunches or even dinner. We're gonna try to have dinner there a few times. I'm gonna pre-make a lasagna and take that with us um, as well as some banana bread and possibly some hummus for our veggies and our crackers. Um, the hotel is supposed to provide breakfast, but I never know, so I'd rather be prepared than not. So I just wrote down a few things we're gonna have. This stuff I already have at home, so I don't need to buy. Um, but like I said, writing really makes it easier for me, especially with my daughter. Make sure I get everything on here. And here's what I need to pack for us. Beach towels, beach chairs, beach umbrella, garbage bags, you know, stuff like that for the hotel room. And then of course our toiletries. 
And here is a list that I need to do before we leave. That's my number one tip is try to clean your house before you leave. So when you come home, you come home to a clean house. You don't come home to a mess that you have to then re-clean because being on, on vacation is definitely exhausting, even though it, it, it is relaxing, but you never want to come home with chores to do. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm kind of looking through everything, making sure I got it. And then once I have everything on the table, I will go through and check everything off. So hope that helps. <laughs> I know it helps me. All right. Let's keep going. All right, so I just wanna share with you guys how I clean. I have a few clean with me videos. I will link them above and below for you guys. But like I said earlier, I feel like, you know, coming home to a clean house is just so much better than coming home to a dirty house. You feel a lot more relaxed. Um, and don't feel stressed out to get to cleaning right away. You will always have to go to the grocery store because you know you don't have food, you've been gone, we'll be gone for a week, so we'll definitely need to go to the grocery store, but at least my house will be clean. Now this is my least favorite part and one of the most neglected chores um, that I always forget to do before we leave, but I did remember this time, is it's always best to clean out your fridge. So empty out all the old food, the milk, all that kind of stuff that can go bad. You don't want it to stink in there when you get home. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna go back later and wipe it down and just get it nice and clean. But we do always try to eat everything in the fridge before we go so we don't waste that much food. So here's all the garbage that's left over. It's not too bad. It's a lot of liquids like lemonade and chocolate milk and dairy and that kind of stuff. And then some of the old produce. And then another tip is to always take out your garbage before you go. You don't want to leave stinky garbage in your kitchen. I also am emptying my bathroom garbages and spraying uh, disinfecting spray in there just to get rid of any nasty smells because you don't want to walk into a stinky house. <laughs> Right now I'm just gonna go back through that list I made earlier and cross everything off. The most important stuff is that my daughter's stuff is together and she's got everything she needs. I'll go back through and do all my stuff later, but most importantly is the house is clean and all those chores are done. We still need to go to the grocery store, but we will do that later in the video. So this just arrived from Amazon while I was cleaning. I wanted to share this with you guys. I thought it was super cool. It's like a travel desktop like tray, I guess, that goes around her car seat. So here it attaches, it goes around the back so she can like sit up and like color. She could put her iPad here. It came with this, which I don't think her iPad will fit in, but you can always take this off. But you can Velcro these, like this detaches here and reattaches. It's got like little compartments that you can move around. There's little zipper pouches. There's a little pouch here, zipper pouch here. You can put crayons, you can put toys, like just to keep them organized and you know, within reach. Apparently this is like a whiteboard marker that she can actually color on, which is kind of cool. Don't know if I'll let her do that, but I thought it was pretty neat. It was like 30 bucks or 25 bucks, somewhere around there. I will link it down below. It is by the Luso gear. I thought it was super cool. And like I said, it can sit on her car seat, like on her lap, like so. I will try to get a shot of her wearing it, like on her in her car seat in the car once we start um, our trip. But I thought that was really cool and I would definitely buy this for your kids if you've got a road trip. It'll just keep them busy and you know, less mommy, mommy, are we there yet? <laughs> kind of thing. So thought I would share that. 
Another tip is to wash your sheets. I know it seems silly, but trust me, you come home, you're happy to sleep in your own bed in nice, fresh, cleanly washed sheets. It feels so good and it's like welcome home kind of thing. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna wash everybody's sheets, get them all ready to go, get them nice and clean. And since I have the time, I'm gonna go ahead and fold some laundry. Like I've said in one of my previous videos, I absolutely hate, hate, hate laundry. I absolutely despise it. Um, I usually let it get out of control as far as folding. It's like a huge, massive pile, but this one's not too bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it while I have the energy. Alright guys, we just got back from Walmart. Now I'm gonna start prepping our vegetables. Um, and then I also wanted to share with you guys my homemade hummus recipe. It is so good, it is better than any store-bought brand. And I really, really like Costco's brand, but this is pretty dang good. Um, I've made a few different variations. I've done a jalapeno one, a cilantro one, avocado one. Those are good too, but the classic is the best. I am also going to be making a banana bread to take with us. I did forget to get walnuts. <laughs> it was so busy at Walmart, I just wanted to get in and out. Um, but if you like walnuts, I would definitely add that to this recipe. And then I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys my homemade um, lasagna. It's pretty easy, I love it, and it's made with the best stuff, the rows, rayos, however you pronounce it. It is so, so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that, and then I'm gonna start bagging up the snacks and stuff. So let's get started. Alright, so got all of our fresh veggies chopped. I did go ahead and chop my other bell peppers because we are going to be using them the day after we get there um, for the beach. I am going to be packing sandwiches to go along with this in addition to some chips, pretzels, whatever, you know, kind of side thing that anybody wants. We are going to be stopping at a like a little picnic area on the way there. Um, just we do this just to try to avoid getting fast food. I try to limit the fast food as much as possible and of course it saves money. So I rather have more money for activities than to spend on food. So now that this is all done, I'm going to go ahead and start my hummus.
here's what you're looking for. It's not too thick. It's not too fine. It's a perfect consistency. I had to go back through and add more water, but it looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out, place it into an airtight container because we're going to be taking this with us and then top it with some olive oil. If you've got parsley or cilantro, that would be good too. But trust me, this hummus is so good. You won't be disappointed if you make it. that I miss and in the letters you take form No, I won't go back tonight With the habits of the restless me I'm leaving all that stuff behind We can start all over In our hometown All right guys, banana bread is ready. This is when you could add some additional toppings like walnuts, cinnamon, like a streusel. You could add all kinds of stuff on top of your banana bread. You can even put nutmeg or cinnamon in the mixture. Um, I didn't do that this time, but it's really good too. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven at 350 for about 45 to 60 minutes. It really depends on your oven. I always tend to start checking it around 40 minutes. If you can smell it, then that means it's almost done. So just keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn. I went ahead and put parchment paper underneath. If you don't have parchment paper, you can use coconut oil or like a non-stick spray. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven and I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I just finished up the meat. I did not show you guys all of that. All I did was brown the meat with the onions and the garlic. And then I added my favorite, Rao's homemade sauce. I did about one and a half jars. Here's the mixture I made earlier with the ricotta, the cottage cheese, and then some herbs. And then a bunch of cheese. So I shredded up some fresh Parmesan. We've got some mozzarella and some mozzarella and provolone. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble. Oh, and most importantly, <laughs> lasagna noodles. I like the oven ready kind, um, but the other kind works just as well. All right, let's put the lasagna together.
guys, here's how she looks. There's so much cheese in here. There's seriously like four cups of cheese in this lasagna. Um, so now I'm just going to stick it in the oven. I'm gonna cover it with some aluminum foil, bake it for about an hour, and then I will take the aluminum foil off and then uh, turn the broiler on just to get it nice and golden, so. All right guys, banana bread is done. I've been letting it cool. It's been cooling for about a half hour. I popped that lasagna in and I just sliced this up and it looks so good. I wish I had some walnuts, but it's still really good. Um, I will link the recipe down below if you guys wanna try it. If you put some butter on here and stick it in the microwave for like 10, 15 seconds, it's such a good breakfast. So, all right, I think the meal prepping is done. Last thing I'm gonna do is start bagging up some snacks. I do have some fruit snacks in the pantry over there um, that I'm gonna take, so I'm just gonna get that organized, and I am done, finally. Guys, this is all the dry goods we're taking. I brought my daughter a ton of snacks. This is more for the parks, um, as well as these little protein bars, some oatmeal pies. Um, I'm gonna bring some instant oatmeal in case they don't serve breakfast or we don't like the breakfast. I'm very picky with breakfast. Um, and then we've got a bunch of snacks, goldfish, nuts. These are phenomenal. If you've never tried them, try them. They're super good. My daughter loves Triscuits, these pretzel, these pretzel crisps, and then my daughter also loves Funyuns. Um, they do have a coffee machine there, but it isn't a Keurig, so I've got some regular old uh, coffee, some mayonnaise for our sandwiches, my Ultima electrolyte stuff. I can't live without this, especially being out in the parks. Um, you wanna make sure you're hydrated, so we've got those in two flavors. And then also the same thing, this little electrolyte packet of course some little candies, she needs to eat up those. And then we will be taking all of this fruit. So we are taking a lot of food, I guess, but I rather have food at home and snacks at home, in the hotel room, I mean, because it is a kitchenette. So we are gonna be able to cook a little bit. Um, that lasagna will be microwaved. They don't have an oven, but we can microwave it so we can eat on that for two nights. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up in a bag. This will go in the back seat of the car along with the lasagna. I will refrigerate it once it's done. And the banana bread. The banana bread is over there cooling, waiting to go into a bag. And that's it, guys. Lasagna is all done. Look at that cheesy, cheesy goodness. Oh man, I wish we were eating this tonight. All right guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, so much to do today. Don't mind my appearance, I'm a sweaty hot mess. <laughs> I need to go upstairs and shower. Um, went to the store, we did the meal prepping, getting all the final things together. Um, I still have to pack my clothes, but I made it easy on myself last night. I went ahead and picked out all my outfits, accessories, shoes, and everything. Um, I just have to put it in the bag. I always save myself for last for some reason, but I wanna make sure we have everything that we need. So I hope you guys enjoyed and got some ideas on how to pack and my tips. I hope they're helpful for you guys. We will be filming our trip, so stay tuned for that vlog if you guys wanna see. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.